summarizing smart schoolboy 9 in hopefully under 10 minutes let's go smart schoolboy 9 is a disturbing social media account that i believe was first found on instagram there are actually allegedly a few accounts ran by this guy all leading up to what is believed to be his main account which is smart schoolboy 9 this guy has become a popular face on the internet recently and he even has his own subreddit apparently crazy. Anyways, to sum it up for you, it appears this online character is an older guy assumed to be around 60 who has like, oh god, I hate saying this, a mm, fetish or fantasy for dressing up as a little school kid. Oh my god. I feel like I should be arrested for saying that. I mean, age play isn't exactly illegal, though it is weird and creepy in my opinion. So if that's what he was doing, he obviously wouldn't be under so much fire. SSB9 is being investigated by internet sleuths everywhere due to his infatuation with posting very edited and creepy pictures of kids on his page it very much gives the idea that he's fetishizing these children just due to the way he talks about them the way he photoshops them he edits pictures to give them like these huge red lips these black mini boots that he's so obsessed with the like really weird fascination with these lips and boots like it's creepy it's creepy my god. It is rumored that these are real kids that he's uploading, especially, you know, without consent and for the intentions of something sinister. His obsession with pretending to be a schoolboy and posting these photos is bad enough, to be honest. We could have stopped there. Or like, two minutes ago, maybe. But he also has posted videos of himself allegedly chasing kids. <laughs> and even creating one of the most disgusting songs filled with innuendos and straight up pedo language. The unfortunate truth about SB9 is that he seems to have a fetish for being a child that's groomed at school. What the hell? This could be caused by like past trauma or experiences that he's had himself, but that does not justify the things he's posting and saying in the slightest. Usually when it comes to predators, everyone is so quick to want them to be caught, to want to see them in jail. Those feelings are completely normal. Everyone should feel that way. If you don't, stay 10 feet away from me and any child, please and thank you. However, internet sleuths and TikTok clout chasers are taking things way too far. As usual, they're creating fake information, there was a popular video uploaded not that long ago where people claimed they found Smart Schoolboy at his house and harassed him. Although you can't really see their face or their body, so how do you really know that's him? Though I want SSB caught just as much as the next guy, we can't be making assumptions and doxing people who might be SSB9 because the truth is it's most likely not. Another video was recently posted of someone breaking the windows to SSB9's alleged home. Now this one makes me a little angry because you don't know if that's his home. That is a rumor. It's also rumored SSB9 had to move. I doubt he lives in those places anymore especially after being caught in these videos meaning that could be an innocent person in that house that now has to pay for that window. Now according to different countries and districts the police can act a little different about evidence. Since SSB9 is in the UK, the evidence laws surrounding that may be different, but over here where I live, you cannot tamper with evidence or harass the criminal as it could interfere with the investigation. So as you can see, these people are not helping. I understand, I understand wanting this person to not be alive. <laughs> I get the anger, but please don't make the investigation harder than it has to be. Laws surrounding children are already bad, so please, I want him to get the full sentence he probably deserves. There are all sorts of assumptions going on right now. That SSB9 is under investigation, he's on the run, he's offed children and use their faces for content even though it seems like that could be true we need to stop spreading false or fabricated information i doubt the police will update us and tell us any information they're not gonna hop on tiktok and give us a little get ready with me will i tell you all about smart schoolboy night stop it until we see it in the news or we see him walk out the house with the police tape or something, we can't be making assumptions. That will do nothing but hurt the situation. That being said, I hope SSB will eventually stop posting 
pedo content like this goes to prison and spends the jail time he deserves. But for now, all we can do is wait. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I explained this in a short amount of time that everybody can kind of understand. I didn't go into detail about any of the accounts that he's made or too many of the things he's posted because this is really just a recent update. If you want to see more about what he's really done, I suggest watching one of the YouTube documentaries people have made on him. That's what I did. But hopefully I explained this um, under 10 minutes in a good time. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe so I can feed my 10 kids. And I will see you later. Bye-bye. I'm going to go get the KFC chicken and glazed donut sandwich.